Hey guys, welcome back. This is Always Back with another video on the channel. Today I'm gonna be teaching you how you can use iBooks Author. Now, if you own a Mac, that's the only way you can get this software. This software is really great if you're a writer, a book writer, or if you want to write any uh, book. It could be a ebook or actual book. So a lot of people use Microsoft Word or Pages or other word processing software and not many people know about this software. This is really, really great for just writing books. Now it basically saves a lot of time to organize your books into section chapters and also pages. So we're going to give you a tour of this software and I hope you like the video. If you do, please do subscribe and like the video as well. So let's get started with iBook Author. First of all, if you haven't downloaded iBook Author, you go to Apple uh, App Store and you simply say iBooks Author. And the first thing you will see here, that one iBook Author. That's the application that you require. Uh, it's really, really great to write eBooks. So if you really want to write eBooks and make some money out of them, then this is a great place. And this has directly uh, integration with Apple iBooks. So a lot of people use iPad to read books, so you can publish your uh, book to the iBooks straight away. Okay, so when you start iBooks, you see this interface. Here it's telling you if you want to open any existing EPUB file, or you can start the new book by just selecting one of the template. On the top, we have a landscape template. You see a basic, a modern type, classic, but what I'm going to show you is how to use a portrait because the portrait is the way to go because a lot of books are in portrait, not in landscape. So we'll use portrait classic and I will click on choose and it's going to go and generate a book for me. So this is what I get once I select the portrait template. I'm going to maximize the software. Now let's take a look at the, the, the basics functionality, what it provides, what it difference to Word, Microsoft Word or Pages or any other word processing software. So first of all, you will look a bit different uh, layout of the application. It's not exactly like a Microsoft Word or Pages. It's not a word processing. It is mainly targeted to writing books. So here it gives us template. It has a chapter one and then in the chapter one, we have a page. If you look at a book title, it's totally separate. You can say, I'm going to modify this saying test. Well, let's just do that right now. So in the test book, all right, it's got some image here, lorem ipsum text here. That's fine. Now we go to intro to media. If there is any media in the EPUB book nowadays, you can publish your media within the books which is really great. Table of content. Now, table of content is great. When you start writing your books, it automatically adds all the table of contents to your uh, this page. So if you open this uh, book into your iBooks or on a, basically on a Kindle, so you can do that. You can see content straight away. So you don't have to do a lot of work on that. Glossary, that's great. I'll talk about that in a second. But let me go and go and open uh, another chapter. So if you click on this add pages, you get three options. You can start a new chapter. You can start a new section within the chapter or you can add just a page. So let's go and add page. It's going to be a default page. You can see its hierarchy is basically telling you that this is a chapter and that's the page. So here, if I just go, you know, copy paste this lorem ipsum text and then just, you know, paste it again. And we can see that it automatically generated a separate page for me. Now we got this and next thing we're going to create another chapter now. And I'm going to create a chapter with a chapter photo template. You can use a preface or chapter text. I'll select chapter photo. Now you see the hierarchy on the left here that it actually took it out. So anytime I click on this and I can go click on this button, it'll tell me, hey, you want to change something to this or you want to insert a page. If you click here, it will insert the page into corresponding chapter. So I'm going to go and add another page. Let's just say this one. And there you go. It automatically added 
the page to that specific chapter. Now, what is the benefits of just, you know, seeing this hierarchy and it's automatically adjusting the pages to the actual chapter? It's when you publish or preview your app on your iPad, iPhone, or a Mac. Uh, and also you can export the same EPUB and PDF to Kindle or just as normal PDF. So let's go and add a couple of sections. I'm gonna select this chapter and then I will click on this add pages. I'll add like a section here. And then within the section, I'm gonna add some pages. So that's just the general pages that I see that I'm adding. So two column page. Now you can see that's a section there. Now if I click here, I'm gonna go click on the chapter if you want to add another section to the chapter so the selection is very very important whatever you selected it's going to add that stuff to this uh basically to the selection so go add another uh, section i'll add a section and then there you go so we have a chapter one i can minimize that i have a chapter two i have a this section and then the second section also i'm going to add another section and this time the section is going to go uh, inside the chapter two right so this is how you organize your books right you have a chapter and then you have a section and then the pages there all chapter has a pages directly so this is great to uh to actually write your book you don't have to work a lot now last thing we add another chapter and we can say it's a preface chapter and i'll just say end of the book all right now this doesn't have anything but uh we can add a couple more pages to this one we can say hey call it one page okay and also i want to add another page with this uh copyright section okay that's a copyright section there so now we have done some structure of our book let's take a look at other stuff in the software now so here, when you're writing a book, you simply go to this area, you have the page ready, you click on it, and you start typing, okay? You start typing, it will automatically take you to the next page, okay? And also, we'll take a look at what are the other features now. This is just a text box. You can add another text box here if you wanna have a specific styling for your text box. So if I select this, you can see here, I have a different font I can select. I have a different color that I can do. I can select if it's a bold, uh, I can change the font size. So if you're writing a book, you're gonna have a different font or different things for co codes that you use from outside the world. And you can see, you can take these uh, text boxes and align them the way you want. All right, this is just a text box. We have some shapes. Nowadays in the books, we have some interactivity. We have some diagrams. Now, instead of you going copying, pasting and pictures online, you can basically use the shapes directly from here. So here, let me go and draw a diagram here. For example, this is something that we have. I'll say diagram A, okay? Let me go and add another, this triangle. I'll just put it here, okay? And I'll say D diagram B. That's actually giving me like, you know, problem here. So I'll just cancel out. So now if I select this, you see this dot here? I can change this to, you know, make it like some modification to the shape. You don't see any dot here. So yeah, we have something like uh, a line. So if you do the pen tool, you select here and then you drop that thing there. Okay. And after that, you can uh, use line and different shapes. So this is really great. So if you're writing a book, regarding to maths or physics, you need a lot of diagrams, it's right there. You don't have to go anywhere to find these shapes. All of these shapes can be used and some of the shapes can be modified as well. Now, a lot of books require, let me go expand this and I'm going to actually, not here, I'm gonna to go to chapter first, I'm gonna to go to this page here. So here we have a table. If you need some sort of table that you can use in your book, this is here. So click on table, it will create a table and it give you this dialog box here, which you can use to customize. So you wanna have like a, how many rows do you want? Eight rows, you wanna have like more columns, you can have more columns. And then you can format this by, you know, number, currency, or whatever you wanna do. So this is really advanced. It's basically kind of Excel sheet, not a lot of Excel options, but it's, it's there. We can customize with the color, 
you can use the gradient you can you know say none so there's a lot of uh, options here you can play with it by yourself uh, it's a general options that you get with the Excel software charts charts are great so I'll click on a chart and I just drag a chart here now the charts basically has some properties as well where you can change cylinder charts or rectangle charts or you want to have a default light or a medium right stuff like that that you can basically do also you can you know edit the data of the charts by clicking on this edit data button and if you have like a csv file or any data that you can put in here to create the charts you can directly do it here this is really really great you can add rows and columns to actually make your charts dynamic uh, and act like act from your data chart colors select the chart colors i like this bluish color maybe I'm just going to apply all. There you go. You got a bluish color, but you have a different styles for the charts. 3D charts are there, 2D colors and fields. All right, so that's the charts. Widgets. Widgets. So a lot of time you're writing a book. For example, I might write an ebook, which I include some sort of code. So what I can do is I can use this HTML widget. So I select the HTML widget. I'm just going to move this widget and I'm actually going to take this here. Okay. And then I'm going to add a HTML snippet here where we can go and find something in my dev PC. I'll probably go and find something here, guys. Give me a sec. No, not here. So I'm going to go to source. And then no, I can't use that one as well. That's basically not. Uh, my app is not able to access those, but it's here. Anyway, so you can just, you know, add a uh html here as well this is great so that's like a widget that you can try you can play with these options there as well but the main part of making this video is that if you click on this preview button and you say hey preview this book and you will realize that how cool this software is it is going to generate this uh, epub file for you with all the your content all your uh, end of book okay so it's really really dynamic and also all the features that this iBook software or iPad iBook or iPhone I, iBook software uses it's available there also you can export these books to different uh, different uh, platform okay so this is a great software if you want to write a book as you can see here, I can click here and navigate to book. So basically it's creating an EPUB file and it's automatically imported that book into my iBook software. That is great. So yeah, widgets are great as well. Have a look. If you want to add a media, you can use this widget, popovers, scroll bars, interactive images. So I don't want to, you know, drag this video to about a lot longer than this. So yeah, you can play around with this and you can click on this button publish and then it will be published after apple approve your book to the app store so yeah look at this you can assign you can uh, organize your book in chapters section and in pages so this is great thanks for watching if you like the video please do subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in the next one